Hey, Jessica. How are you? Hi, Jerry. I'm surprised that you're in the library. Oh, I was looking for George here. Such a boring place. Though it suits you, Jessica. I'm just trying to work hard for my exams. Just forget it, loser. <laughs> By the way, heard about your story from the teacher. Mm, so you still believe in those fairy tales, don't you? Are you still a kid? Grow up, loser. Don't call me loser, Jerry. Mind your own business. That's what you are, loser. Fine, Jerry. I'm not here to argue with you. Okay, fine. I'm loser. But calling me a loser doesn't make you a winner, Jerry. I am better than you, at least. I have friends. I have a boyfriend also, and you know his name is George. Also, I'm not boring like you are, old-fashioned. I'm proud of myself. In fact, the whole college is. Cherry, I'm really happy for you. Now, if you could excuse me so that I can study, thank you. I have a secret, Judy. Guess what? Tell me, Ricky. George asked me out. He was flirting with me. He told me that I'm the most beautiful girl of this college. Oh my God! Really? What did you say then? You know very well, Vicky. The self-received queen, Cherry. She's going to kill you if she found out. Who cares? Besides, George told me that he's going to tell Jerry about all that, and I think he's going to dump her. Let's see how it goes. I think we should order something. I'm starving like crazy. George doesn't like me. Disgusting, George. I feel so broken. I can't believe this. How could he do this to me? <laughs> They're so right. I was always self-perceived queen. I was always boastful about myself. I'm a self-conceited boastful. But today I found out I'm a real loser.